What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this video is going to show you how to install Jelly Bomb ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. This is for the Sprint variant. I can't make this more clear. As a disclaimer, you're deciding, you're the one choosing to make these modifications to your device. I cannot be held responsible if you mess something up and your device no longer works. That is all on you. So follow along with the instructions and your phone should work fine just like mine does. So, uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go to the description and click on the link. It's going to take you to the XD thread by Joshua Beach. You got to scroll down to like the second post and then you'll find a little thing that says click here for the latest downloads. And then you'll click on Galaxy Note 3 and then you'll click on ROMs and then you'll find like a few links and you'll just search for the latest version of Jelly Bomb ROM. So like Jelly Bomb ROM 3.1 or 4.0 could be out by the time you're watching this video. So please do that. And also, please make sure your battery is adequately charged. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a... I'm going to charge the battery up. And you want to see how long it's going to take me to charge my battery up? Let's see. Let's see. I believe all of these are fully charged. I know this one is, and I know this one is. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to charge up our Note 3 here. And I put the ROM on the SD card. I'm not using a USB OTG thing like a flash drive plugged into this or the micro SD card in here. I'm just using the micro SD card. It's in the back of my phone. Uh, it's very, very fast. And I did a video on it. Just search www.joshdew SanDisk and you'll find it. I did a video on this anchor battery and I did a video on this Onite battery. These basically just come with a little charger and you can charge up your battery. Like when my phone hits about less than 20%, I take the battery out of my phone, I put it on the charger and I grabbed one of these fully charged batteries, either one of them, cause they all last equally as long. And uh, I have a fully charged battery, 100% ready to go. I'm not stuck to a wall. I can carry one of these fully charged batteries in my pocket and you know, if my phone decides to die on me because location services was given a 10 hour CPU lock, look at that, fully charged. Well, almost. So uh, you're gonna need custom recovery. Uh, I recommend Torp Recovery at the moment. It's working fine and it's one of my favorite recoveries. Uh, you can Google Sprint Note 3 Twerp and then hit the little checkbox. It'll search for it. You'll click the first link you see right here and then you will scroll down here and then you'll see this textura i can't pronounce that correctly and when you go there you'll want to just pick the latest version as of this video it's 2637 the image is something you'll want to download if you plan on using recovery tools available in the play store to flash the latest recovery to your device the image.tar is if you don't have root yet but you want to flash custom recovery over to your phone and then install the rom that's what the tar is for. And the zip, I believe, contains everything. So just download it. You'll wait for it to proceed and finish all the way. And then you'll open up this tool um, called, it's called Recovery Tools. And right here, it's free. You'll just click Install, Accept, and you'll wait for it to finish. And when it's done, you'll open it up. Grant it root permission. If you don't have root, again, you have to use Odin. Uh, I know the risk. As you can see, I have 2637, so I do not need to do this. But you would go to Flash Other Recovery, and you would probably go to your downloads where it stored it, and you click on the file, and then you click Flash. If you are too lazy to download it manually, because a lot of times this is not the latest version, you'll click Flash for Recovery, and it'll be like 2635 when 2637 came out. I know personally from experience that this application does not update the recovery very quickly. So 2637 is the latest, so you could just press that. Yes, please, reboot to recovery, you're good to go. Also, if um, you want, you need to back up all your apps with Titanium Backup. So go here, go to this little batch icon right here, and then click Backup All User Apps, and then hit the checkbox. And you wanna make sure that that's going on your uh, SD card. So on a TouchWiz ROM, it'll say EXT SD card. On a Sanjumad AOSP ROM, it'll say SD card one. If that says like emulated or internal storage, you'll wanna move it over to your external storage using any file explorer of your choice. Once you've backed up your apps, also make sure you have your contacts backed up. Go to your dialer and then click contacts, hit menu, export, 
and export it to your storage and then move it over to your external storage. You'll also want to download something like um, SMS Backup and Restore, hit Backup, choose your external SD card, hit OK, and back up your messages if you have those. So I'm not doing all that because I'm trying to make this video short. Um, just go ahead and power off your device. I mean, it's not going to be short, but it's not going to be no 20, 30 minute video either. So it's powered off. We're going to hold volume up, the home button, and the power button. I believe it's those three buttons. Like on the Note, uh, on the S4, it was actually just volume up and power at the same time. So we're going to see. It should boot this into recovery. There you go. That's how you get into recovery manually if you don't know how. As you can see, our battery's good to go. Also, if you are particularly like the ROM that you are on, like if you're stock, go to backup, choose boot, system, data, EFS, and modem. Please choose those options. Please do not choose cache or recovery. It, I don't care if you do, it's optional, but trust me, it's just you're backing up unneeded stuff. Enable compression. For here, change this to your micro SD card, or if you're using one of these little guys that I did a video on, make it USB storage. Hit the OK button, and then swipe to backup. There you go. That's how you back up your ROM. If you ever need to go back to that because something wasn't working with the ROM or you don't like the ROM you're about to flash, you'll be able to go to restore, change it to your micro SD card or USB storage if you use one of these, press OK, and then there you can go. You can see the Android backup that I made earlier. And I can just press on it and choose restore. So now, this is where you install the ROM. You need to go to wipe and you need to do a factory reset. That's all you got to do, a factory reset. It's that simple. If you're a more advanced user, you can go to Dalvik, System, Data, and Cache. Well, actually, you have to choose these three options right here, but I'm going to go ahead and choose that. That's just me, my personal preference. And this is something that, please do not do this if you don't know what you're doing, and if you do not have the ROM on a micro SD card that's, under your, that's underneath the back of your phone. Internal storage. I'm gonna wipe it so I have all 32 gigs available. Fresh, clean start. I already backed up my absolutely backup. I already been an Android backup. I already backed up my messages. I already backed up my contacts. So I don't care if I wipe my internal storage. Everything that's important to me is on my external storage. So again, if you have the ROM on your internal storage because you don't have an SD card, do not choose that option. So swipe to wipe. Again, a factory reset is suffice. If you do a factory reset, like this little thing right here that we did, the first thing we did, you're fine, you can install the ROM. But if you're a more advanced user, go to advanced wipe, choose what you wanna wipe. All right, so we're gonna go back to install, and then we're gonna change this from internal, which is what it is on at first, to our external. See, look, our internal is cleared. It's white, there's nothing on it. So go to your micro SD card, press okay, and then go down here until you find Note 3 Jelly Bomb Domination, and then whatever version it is. As of this video, it's 3.0, but later on it could be 4.0, 3.5, etc. Same exact install process, just choose the later ROM. So we're just going to press on it, and then swipe to confirm flash. This is going to take uh, about a minute or two, so just wait. You get a nice little animation that it's installing, which is cool. Hopefully this is not an Aroma installer, I'm not quite sure. I don't like Aroma installers. I understand that you can be picky and choose what you don't want and what you do want. If someone does include a Aroma installer, I hope that they would include a default installation. So like all the themes and apps and stuff is set up the way the developer meant it to be set up. So, yeah. The screen turns off, that's fine, that's normal. It's just to prevent burn in. Whenever it's done, your screen will light up. So it'll kind of like, if you have your phone set to the side, it'll light up and you'll go, oh, yeah, it's finished. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of like that. You can go in the settings and disable it if you don't like it. See, it lit up. I, I mean, I pressed it, but it was going to light up anyway. So the ROM's done. We're gonna go ahead and hit reboot system. And if all went well, we should now have a new boot up screen instead of the Sanja mod or the stock one that you get with your phone. Okay, so that looks like it's normal. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I have not flashed this ROM yet. This is my first time. So we're gonna see. Usually Josh does some custom boot animation. Maybe he hasn't made one yet, or maybe he just hasn't loaded yet. I don't know. <laughs> All right, the little buttons down here lit up. So it's obviously making progress. Um, when you watch this video later on, there very well could be a custom startup boot animation from Josh. So yeah, as of this version, there's not. 
It says it could take three to four minutes. It's a little bit hard to read, but it says it. All right, so it's blue. It's themed differently. Jelly Bomb set CPU, go ahead and grant it. As you can see, we are already pre-rooted. So if you're someone that thinks you need to root your phone after installing a custom ROM, that person did a very poor job if you install the custom ROM when it's not rooted. <laughs> um, next, connect to your Wi-Fi, which is not showing up for me at the moment. There it is. As you can see, we have a custom keyboard. It looks different than the stock one. I'm just going to install SwiftKey, so it doesn't matter to me, but yeah. So we hit next after we log into our Wi-Fi. It's gonna ask about our Samsung account. I'm going to hit skip. Do you have a Google account? Yes, yes I do. Quick tip, if you're logging into your Gmail account, all you gotta do is enter in your username and then go down to the password section. It'll autofill Gmail. So if you're the one that types that out manually every time, you're just wasting a few seconds of your time. So go ahead and hit the next button if you logged in and if your password is correct. All right, so back up. Yeah, I like all that. Communication, I don't like that. If it's gonna restore our phone, this does take just a second, so please be patient. If you don't like the fact that I'm going really, really fast and the fact that this isn't a very, very thorough, detailed video, you can thank all the people in my um, CM11 video on the Note 3 and go, thank you for telling Josh to make shorter videos because they said 30 minutes was, or 20 minutes was way too long. So next, next. And then here, you can change this to whatever you want to change it to. I'm going to go ahead and just change it to my YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, my global username, even my XDA username. So, www.josh.tw, and then finish. And then, for here, you can choose Nova Launcher, TouchWiz, or that. So, let's do the easy, or the home, just once. And you can see that that's the one right there. And then, if you hit home, you can go to... No, don't, don't swipe up. Home. No, stop that. Okay, you can disable this. Um, start. I guess you gotta accept the stupid things here. Start. And then settings. And then that. Disable that. Anyways, it was supposed to ask me to choose another launcher. So if it does ask you to choose another launcher... All you got to do is um, choose like Nova or whatever you want to choose. So that's how you install Jelly Bomb ROM. Now I'm going to be rocking this. This is going to be my main, well, I can't say main device because I love my Nexus 5 more than I can say in a video or through words, but I will carry this phone around and I will try, <laughs> I will try to use my Note 3, but uh, yeah, and so I'll be back. Maybe in a few weeks, couple months, I'll be back at some point with a thorough review that will take some time to go over a lot of the features that this ROM has to offer. As you can see, it is Jelly Bomb ROM. It is completely, you know, customized. You've got your quick toggles. You can edit your quick toggles. You can, there's going to be a lot in here and I'm going to do a video on all of it. So... Please subscribe if you're new to my channel and if you don't want to miss any future Note 3 videos from me. If you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram, I would ask you kindly to do that because that's how you're going to learn on videos that I'm working on. I posted a picture of this phone on Instagram, which also posts on my Twitter when I do that, to let people know that I was working on a Note 3 video. So if you were following me, you would have known that. Oh, Nova Launcher is right here. If I press on it, there's Nova Launcher right there. I actually have the premium version. I really like Nova Launcher. So you can choose on which one you want to use. Okay, let's see what this device is on right now. About device. It is on Android 4.3. Again, it could be 4.4 in the future whenever um, a 4.4 ROM is available for them to build off of. So we've got the Jelly Bomb ROM. We are now a developer. So we have developer options. We can enable USB debugging. And we can go to security and check unknown sources. And... Um, Uncheck verify apps, not to any backup will not um, nag you about restoring your stuff. 
If Titanium Backup says to restore your previous ID, please do that. You have to add the Pro version, but it's very much worth it to add the Pro version. And some apps that relied on your Android ID will go, hey, if you say ignore, keep the new ID, it'll say, hey, your Android ID is different, um, so your data's not gonna work that you restored. It won't say that, but when you go to play the game, your, your previous backup will not be there because your Android ID is different. So please restore your previous Android ID if you got really far in Need for Speed, Asphalt, and you want to restore that progress. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.